Okay, here we are again with Alan Wake, and we're going to reach the gas station. Let's see. Anybody there? Please, I've been in an accident. Uh, that's not a good idea. Gosh, I hope I remember how to play this. I don't play it very often. Whoa. Cool. The lights up ahead were a good sign. Maybe I wouldn't have to hike all the way down to the gas station to find a phone. I forgot to focus. Darn it. How convenient. First. Anything back here? Don't make me run back here for nothing. No? Oh well. Okay, let's go to the tree. Tree bridge. Anybody there? Please, I've been in an accident. Hey, hey, you fail. There's been an accident. I huh? need help. Listen, Deposit. I need to. Premium cabins for rent in. Nightfall. Oh, hell. <laughs> Carl Stucky. Pleased to meet you. Non refundable reservation. Deposit required. Fair and square. Uh. Oh, crap. Square. Got a gun? Ooh. No, don't jump. I'll read that right there. Mm. No, that's not. No. Pretty spry for a white guy. You e. lose. Shit. Uh. I had to figure a way out of this. Any second now, and Stucky would be knocking on the door with his axe like Nicholson in The Shining. Sweet. Batteries, check. During your ammo, check. Trying. Uh, okay, let's go. Wait, what? In Test the yes. Right ball shark station. Oh may I do? So what do I do? Hello? Hello? Oh, 
of the bit. I'd never fired a gun outside a shooting range, fuck, fuck, fuck. and now I just killed someone or something. There were no bodies; they just disappeared. If I was dreaming, it felt real enough to make me sick. Who's this arrow pointing to? There's another one. Ooh, it's like. It's like a black light fan painted graffiti Ooh. was revealed by my flashlight. Someone had yeah, hidden the chest of supplies near it. How do we reload? Oh, that's not how. <clears throat> that's how you unload. The dark forest was the last place I wanted to go, but I had no choice. I had to get to the gas station. It's rabbit season. Okay. Bitch. I got a feeling there's some stuff up here. Cool. Rose knew she had been gushing, but right now she didn't care. As far as she was concerned, her brief meeting with Alan Wake was literally the high point of her life. She watched as he got in the car with his wife. She was pretty, confident, at ease with Wake. Not like Rose. They were perfect for each other. She'd have given anything to be called their friend. Hmm. Oh, that looks dangerous. That is not for swinging. saw the river below, something uncoiled itself inside my head. I realized that I'd have to find a way across. I didn't even want to look at the water. Uh, which way do I go? Probably this way? There's a light. Another. Barry Wheeler was bouncing off the walls. He jumped on a plane after his calls were ignored by both Al and Alice for several days. It could mean that they were both on a second honeymoon, but Barry didn't buy it. Hmm. Al had been way too unstable for that. Interesting. Wait. So now what? Where do I keep on? I can't make that jump. Stucky was still out there, in the dark, stalking me. Freaking out here. What is that? Yeah. We need a shotgun. Oh. Alright. 
Let me wait for my battery to regen. I wish for batteries were really like that. There's another arrow. Uh huh. Wonder who's leaving these goodies. Taken. They're taken. Taken are filled with darkness. <clears throat> Excuse me. Huh. Cool. Thank you. Damn, I have 20. Sweet. The staircase was broken. I had to make my way up of course. some other okay. way. Okay, we'll figure it out. I have a feeling I'm gonna fight some people soon. Cause I'm getting loaded up with all kinds of goodies. go towards the blinking light here. Mmm, fudge. Give me. With all this forestry equipment around, there had to be something I could use. Uh. To reach the top. Cool. A clue. Where is it? Is that it up here? Oh, what? Get up here. Up and over. Almost there. Checkpoints are good. Just outside for a breath of fresh air and what a night. I, hmm. I know most of you are probably in your beds by now, but if you're still up and around, take a moment. 
Step outside for a spell and breathe in deep. Mm, the weather is absolutely still. The sky is crystal clear. It's like the forest is quietly breathing along with you. Do listeners know what? I'm a night owl, and it's on nights like this I wish I wasn't cooped up in the studio. Uh, makes an old man like me wish I could just roam wild. <laughs> but here I am, and it would keep you company all night long if I weren't. Uh, it looks like uh, I'm not the only one staying up late. Caller, you're on the air. Hey, Pat, it's Maurice Horton. Hello, Maurice. What are you up to? Well, I was just taking Toby on his walk. Oh, isn't it beautiful out there? Sure, but Pat, the reason I called is that Toby heard something rustle in the undergrowth and took off after it, and I couldn't find it. Probably a rabbit. Sure. Toby loves rabbits. Well, sure. Anyway, I figured that, you know, if anyone runs into Toby, they could grab him. My number's on his collar. And Toby's a friendly dog? Oh, Toby loves people. Usually he comes back, but we were pretty far from home, and it sounds like he went pretty wild there. Great dog, but just too dumb for his own good. <laughs> well, Maurice, it's out there now. Hope Toby comes home soon. Yeah, thanks, Pat. You have a good night now. <laughs>